hey guys what's up it's lauren welcome back to my channel today i just kind of wanted to talk about um just some life life things that have been going on so first thing that i wanted to talk about was school um i don't know if you guys noticed but i like on my face you'll see in vlogs that i'll upload or like little videos that i'll upload um my skin broke out so bad like so bad to the point where i felt like i was in high school again and not that i have the clearest skin but it's not as prone to breakouts as it once was if that makes sense let's rewind i had a biology test and now being like <laughs> i don't know just school is like my thing i've always been good in it it's never really been too hard for me um especially going back to high school like i didn't have to study I kind of just knew what the teacher was talking about and went off of that like paid attention in class took notes um would review some of my notes if needed but it wasn't like a oh my gosh i need to review my notes type of thing fast forward to now and biology in college is kicking my butt i failed my first exam so i was stressed out and literally <laughs> My professor's like, you could see me after class. We could talk about it. Like, what do we need to talk about, sir? I'm, I got an F. Like, I got a 50, I think I got a 53% on that exam. And so I'm like, well, what, you know, I just told him, okay. And I, I didn't go speak to him after class because I was really contemplating leaving the class. I go back to my seat and good thing there was kind of like a little group that was going on. The three people that sit behind me and then the three people that sit in my row, my lab row, they were just like, don't quit you have until november i think they said november 12th um to drop the class with the w so i'm like okay i'll stay you know i'll stay they all got like really good grades one of the girls right next to me she happened to get an a she got a 91 percent, and she got a 91 percent because she had previously taken the course so i'm like okay well you know that's all fine and dandy but <laughs> I got an F, so how do I get from an A to an F? Well, it turns out a week goes by, he calls us up for a progress report, and I have a 74% in the class. And I'm like, wow, like my homework is really, really saving my butt right now because think about it, I got an F, and then I still have a C. And now it's like a mid C, you know, it's a 74, it's not a 78, but I'll take it. So it kind of gave me a little bit of motivation. Then I was watching um, the. Just a side note, I'm studying to get my prereqs for nursing. So I'm in school for my prereqs right now for nursing. Um, with that being said, this is why I have these science classes. And right now I'm only taking biology and psychology. And psych is so, it, I'm not going to sit here and say it's easy, but it's so relatable. I just feel like it's more my, my, like my understanding level is totally there. The atoms, the molecules, the enzymes, the proteins, the lipids, the carbohydrates, oh, like, not for me, not not right now. And so, and that's biology. So, with bio, um, being that I have a C, I'm like, okay, you know, I'm going to stay, I'm going to work it out, I'm going to figure it out. So, today I'm actually going to go to the tutoring session in that, or like the tutoring center that my college offers and just do my homework there i have class tonight it's monday so i have class tonight at 6 p.m so i'm gonna go ahead and do that and just continue working on my study guide the one of the guys also started um one of the people that sit in back of me he also started this thing on on google i honestly don't even know how to do it yet um but where everybody works on the study guide together and you kind of just I don't know how to explain it. it's like a group session so that's helpful but I just need to get in my zone I was watching on um a, a YouTube what's her name the nurse nook and for okay first of all let me just say this like this girl's so inspirational not because she's speaking about the things that she's done like oh i'm just this best nurse. like no not because of that because she's speaking about realistic things like she did not 
she's failed one of her science courses in college and had to retake it and I think she said she retook it in the summertime and did really well and it's just it's so relatable because first of all I thought school was easy until I had a kid and I say that because learning how to manage my time while also being a mother is very hard like learning how to manage my study time because my I have a three-year-old so my toddler wants to run around play get into things she's not supposed to even though she has a room full of toys um and then will want me to play with her or will want to do her homework while I'm doing my homework so I can't, it, it's it's difficult um but it's not impossible and I think me seeing her videos and about her failing her science course and having to retake it that's kind of where my mind went you know I'm gonna try my best and whatever I get with this grade like if I end up with an A or a B I'm good you know but if I end up with a C obviously a D or an F like I'm gonna retake it anyway so let me just go ahead and learn as much like absorb all that I can right now so that way if I do have to retake it which I don't want that to happen but realistically speaking if I don't get an A or even a B on the next test like my grade is staying a C so um i'm gonna go ahead and just try my best continue to do that All right so going back to what i was saying the nurse nook actually made a statement and she said it's really good to her and um another person on youtube i'll, I'll have to link the video below but they were saying to go online and google uh study like learning habits so um how you learn now I did this back when I was in high school and when I was an avid and I don't even remember my results honestly so I couldn't even tell you what type of learner I am or what type of um, study habits I have because they're terrible honestly but I'm really going to do this as soon as I get to school right now and in that tutoring session I'm going to google um, I'm going to google like some type of test it started with a V, I don't remember, but again, I'll, I'll link it below, and maybe I'll do a video as to how I'm going to start to study, because your girl just, I need to figure it out. So, what I do want to say, though, is if you are going through the same thing, please, please, please just stay faithful. Like, if it wasn't for my, cla for my classmates, I honestly, I do think I would have dropped the class with the W and just took it at a later date and only took one class um, but I'm really pushing myself this semester I want to get done not saying that I'm so crunch for time because honestly like I'm 23 but I'm just not gonna conform to society's rules as oh you're you're um you're 30 you need to be in your career like some people are in their career and they're very unhappy and I 50 they're like you know what i'm gonna change it all up and I'm, i don't even want to do this anymore so i want to figure out what exactly i'm passionate about i know i've always wanted to be in the medical field so being a nurse i think is going to give me that very broad spectrum to choose from i'm not just going to be you know stuck to one specific thing like i'm not just a nurse i can choose different fields and which the videos that i'm watching and then also speaking to different nurses it's so different depending on what department you're in, um, where you work, what type of facility. Not all nurses work in hospitals, so yeah, we'll see where it takes me. But as far as right now, I need to get these study habits down because I don't want to get an F. I don't want to get anything lower than a B on my next test, and that is so possible if I figure out my study, like my learning style now and my study habits. Or like I guess my study style too because I keep saying habits but I guess it should be style all right guys honestly this is like terrible lighting but it is currently 6 30 so I'm on my way to my class I am running a little late but your girl had to eat because I was not about to spend money um and so I ate spaghetti and salad and garlic bread but now I'm gonna be on my way to class I didn't I wasn't able to take that study um or the learning styles and the study style test yet but I will take it tonight before I go to bed for sure and I'll record me doing that
Alrighty guys, so sorry about the noise out there because they're doing the trash, but it looks like Vark actually gave me different um, like different suggestions than the previous website that I said did or the test that I took on that website. So it says my scores were a visual, I got an eight. Aural, I got a nine. Read and write, I got 11 and kinesthetic i got a 13 so it says you have a multimodal learning preference so using the following page for study strategies that apply to your learning preference so so now that i know what type of learner i am i'm gonna go ahead and try my best to study using these techniques and these tips that they gave me i'll let you guys know how it works out thank you guys for watching i hope you enjoyed the video i'll see you in my next upload Bye.